All right, what is this map? It is Pangea, and there are five players in the lobby, except for this person did not ready up, so there's only four players in a bot. What happens when they don't ready up? Ooh, this blizzard right here makes this into a two-point hold, which I can cap on. Or this is also, wait a second, look at this. Oh, look at these blizzards. Between these two here and this one here, we have a two-point hold for this total plus four bonus. I would like to cap here, but I'll cap here, actually, because that cap is just kind of buried in the back of the territory. So that's very, very strong for us. We clear this and this two-point hold for that. I don't think we go for the same turn. Maybe we do. Maybe we actually, we take our troops here. We slap to hit this. This is a one-point hold for this. I wish I could have capped it right here, but that's not my territory. Luckily, we went first to turn order. Otherwise, Red probably would have gone for that. What these other blizzards do? South America. Okay, green caps there. South America, a plus five. It's got a one, two, three, four, five, six. Red caps there. What a crazy mad lad. That's a wild play for you to cap. You can see both of these. You can see this right here. You can see this right here. Luckily, I go first in turn order. I should get, I think, seven troops. I can stack them all right here. Slap your cap. Take it. Fortify these up into here and somebody else will take my cap, but then I'll have this stronger cap here. I'm going to six, not uh, seven. We need great dice here. We need amazing dice here. It's 79% chance and we get it. That's fantastic. Let's leave some behind and then we'll fortify. I mean, these guys could try and grab mine. I think we, uh, we risk losing this one right here to somebody. I would rather have this cap here. I'd rather have a cap on, on a, a plus two right here and give this cap up to somebody else. And Red will basically bot out. Terrible play from Red to try to cap right there, um, right next to me. Green stacks right here and goes for this. 8v2, maybe I should just put 7 here and 1 there. If I'm lucky, like blue, green, and uh, white all see this. Hopefully they just fight over here a bunch for it. Like maybe you get bad dice, lose a bunch of troops. Then blue tries to grab it, white tries to grab it. No dice lost. So you now also have a 1 point hold on uh, no, it's the two-point hold because I can slam you right here. Ooh, I see you hitting me down there. So the thing about them trying to hold this bonus, I can just keep stacking on my cap. I mean, this works out okay. I would have rather had it all for myself on a two-point hold, but this works out. Red capped here. We took their cap. Uh, so blue's over here. White's over here. Um, so one, two, three, four caps. Where's the fifth cap? Blue, white. We took reds. Greens. I think green was somewhere in here, right? I don't remember. Other blizzards of note. Also, Asia. Here's the bonuses. Asia is... A lot of points to hold. It's over here and over here. Red probably bots out. Very foolish play of theirs to try and go there. Uh, North America, one, two, three, four point hold. South America is a one, two, three, four, five, six point hold. But if they hold right here, it's a one, two, three. That's a three point hold for plus five in South America if you can get there. I, I would like to eventually get this cap away from green, but they, they got great dice getting it. I do go before them in the turn order, so... They'll never get to hold this bonus. I'll constantly always break it, but honestly, just having... They have two caps. I have a cap and a plus two. We have the same troop income. Both of us have better income than the other two players. The red player did. I feel like it'd been better if the red had cap somewhere else, and it's like, I could have had this and worked to get that in two-point hold, but... I mean, maybe this is better. Maybe somewhere in the future, we get this cap away from you, and then I have uh, a plus four two-point hold with two caps as well. That would be great. We just need to make sure that people across the board don't get like big bonuses and go all buddy buddy ally with us. They take up my vision over there. Unlucky. Also, um, this is not being streamed live. I'm no longer streaming uh, Risk on Twitch because um, there's a stream sniper epidemic going on right now. First, I thought it was just me. Uh, they're, they're going hard for this. I thought it was just me like playing bad the last few streams, but it turns out um, I've been talking to other content creators and like they've been having really bad problems with stream snipers so if the grand masters of the game are like oh, i'm getting stream sniped like crazy on stream there's just a stream sniping epidemic going on right now blue is attacking a bunch over here so we won't be streaming risk anytime soon on stream i'm recording this off camera main channel and side channel stuff will be recorded off camera so blue's got a lot of territories over there i need to secure this um where do I want to get a card at? Uh, I can have this three attack one to get a card, maybe get some vision. Ooh, oh, the white, the white's a bot. That's better. Instead of me having to go through breaking you myself, if the bot keeps stacking there, then yeah, that's great. Because I don't want you getting this and holding more. Oh, that's right. There's a, there's a, wait, the bot cap is, the bot probably moved off their cap. So if I stack here and go for it, I can maybe yoink that cap. I am worried you try to steal this from me. So I'm going to shore this up with uh, one. Is that going to be enough? I need I need to actually get the bots cap and hold it. 
if the bot even moved off cap. I remember the bot's cap was over here. Where's that cap? Don't lose any troops. I need god dice. Come on. Oh, okay, it's unlikely we hold that unfortunate. But we tried. Now I imagine someone yoinks that from us. Depending, I mean, green probably saw that, right? Seven troops for you. You stack them right here, hit this, hit that, yoink that cap from me. Two, I think, the other players, I mean, no, you stack them over here and you try and yoink my cap? No, you stack two over there. If you stack five, seven, you don't, hmm, do you know I did that? I, oh, they're gonna try for it, but they might not get the dice. They did see it, they are gonna try it. I need them to get bad dice. Maybe, uh, are you a bot? You're a red, red's a bot as well. Green is really sabotaging my match here. I mean, first, red kind of sabotaged a bit, forced me to grab that from them. They lost none. 5v3, please lose. Oh, beautiful, they lost, they lost. And the only people that saw them lose that is red and myself. Blue, if we're lucky, does not get involved in this. And then if I, if red's a bot, they probably don't go for it. White's a bot, they probably don't go for it. It's basically myself, green, and blue versus two bots, or uh, uh, all against each other. And I just need blue to not go for it, and then we hold it. But if blue goes for it, we got problems. I mean, it was a good play for green going for it. They kind of figured I'd be low on troops, and, you know, I feel like green is a competent player based on what they're doing. Gotta be at least intermediate, at least intermediate, maybe expert or higher. They know what they're doing. The bot um, attacks over there, that's fine. If anything, it protects me, that two protects me better from you stacking seven. I mean, if blue stacks here, goes through this, they just get it. If blue knows what happens over here, I need blue to be bad, effectively, is what I need. I need to be blue to be uh, bad and so focused on this. Or, okay, losing four there is brutal. They're getting great dice. But if they're hyper-focused on getting this plus nine, which they're never going to be able to hold... Like, they they never hold this plus nine. They might not realize this is part of the plus nine over there. Okay, I don't... We, we held it. That's huge. That'll give us more troops unless the bot takes it back. 5v2. Good dice takes it. Come on. Go attack some... Oh, yes, they attack somewhere else. Good. Red and white being bots helps us a lot here. I'm worried green might hold like an epic grudge against us. And eventually, please don't win a 3v2. Okay, yeah. Oh, push green out of there. That's great. That's great. I love that. I love that. Now I have as many capitals as green does, and I get a a, a plus two that's protected nicely. Um I want to shore this up. I'm also worried about you like stacking here and slamming. You get seven, become sixteen. Do you take a seven versus ten and get a good dice? Maybe? Um keep this here. I need to like. I gotta protect this as well. I mean, they have another capital as well. I'm sure they want to protect somewhere. I need to get a card. 3v1 with great dice. We got it. Fantastic. And I'm gonna, like, give out an alliance thing. Maybe green wants to chill out. Maybe green wants to chill. I love that the, the white bot's blocked and everything like that, so... We are still in this. <sighs> I'm really worried green stacks everything here and slams me right there. And gets good dice. 16 versus 10. It's not a great chance of them getting it, but they could. And they'll be devastating for me. I need you. But they've got another cap somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, stack down there. And they maybe they want to push me out of here? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Push me out of there. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You can try and grab that bonus or whatever. As long as you don't take away my beautiful... Because this cap right here is effectively giving me plus four from the cap and the two territories. Oh, they're actually trying to hold this. Oh, they're not trying to push me out of here. They're trying to hold this bonus. Interesting. So there's cap here, cap here, blue cap here. I've got this. Green's got another cap. I think that was somewhere in here. I forget where. And they're also trying to hold this plus five, which I don't love. I hold two caps and plus two is six. You hold two caps and that would be plus nine. I, that'll only give you three more per turn than me. That's not the end of the world. Also, bots will probably be breaking you constantly on this, so I think we're okay. They're not targeting me, otherwise they would have hit this. They just they're trying to grab this plus five South America, but I don't think the I don't think the bots will let them hold it. So now we focus on shoring up my capitals right now, because they don't feel very safe. I want to get them stronger. In fact, I could eventually try and yoink this capital from me. Wait for card trades. I do go first in the turn order. Bots over there. We've got to pay attention to where the bots are at. Eight troops for you. I'm not worried about getting getting eight because you have more territories. You're never going to hold Asia because you have to hold all of this and all this over here. And guess what? Myself and Green just we anytime we want, anytime we see Blue holding this right here, bam, we hit that, and you don't hold that bonus. I, don't th I think Blue, uh, they're not familiar with the map, and they're maybe they're starting to realize it now, but they have to hold all of this as well to get that bonus for Asia, plus for the bots. So I've got two caps. Uh, 
Green's got two caps. Blue has one. So unless blue or green lose their cap here or here without me realizing, like that's going to be a non-problem. This white bot wants to grab Europe, so we have to keep this cap nice and fed. Now, bot's eventually going to stack heavier and heavier in this cap, trying to grab it. We're not going to card trade in three here in progressive. Leaves us two, nine troops for us. We will stack. I mean, I could stack 19 versus nine. I don't think I want to. I need to get a card somewhere. I mean, I could stack some here, hit this, fortify into, you know, maybe. Prevent some troops' losses, perhaps. Get a card somewhere. And we'll do, I think, th uh, three here. And then four here, and then we will hit this for our card. Blue already sees, blue already knows about that green cap there. Um, I don't know if they know about mine down here. Seven troops for you. You still have your bonus you stack here, because yeah, yeah, you want to protect that. There's no world where you let me take that easy. I think our smartest move is just to kind of like not really bother taking that cap, and unless you for some reason you like leave it pretty undefended because I slam if I slam you pretty hard with that I'm gonna make sure to keep putting out like the alliance icon hopefully you understand what that means you seem like you're good enough that you would understand what that means you push me out of there is fine you might be hitting that red bot next turn even if you hold that bonus for a turn or two I'm not super worried about that and um I, th I think we're gonna be okay here that's not a not a huge thing we're worried about and because like even if you get this eventually the bots will occasionally break you or maybe we let you have this and the only way you protect it from the bots is you have to shore up like you have to defend here you have to defend here you have to defend here it's a three point hold but that is three points you have to hold troops on plus this is four points you need to defend where i've got two and if you're defending here here and here well eventually i'll be stacking bigger and bigger here compared to this and i can slam that get that cap from you and then get this and then i've got uh a uh, three-point hold for two, four, six, eight, ten, right? Extra? And I think it's pretty good for us here. All right, blue, you're still a player, right? Yep, and green, still a player, yep. Did red come back? Nope, they just gave up because I took their cap. I think red must have been a novice beginner or someone trying to get away with murder of their trying to cap right there next to mine. Capping next to somebody else's cap is very dangerous. There before you in the turn order unless you have like a lot of troops there. All right, so blue is just kind of scoping things out around. That's fine. Maybe they're trying to have lots of, uh, maybe, they're tr maybe Blue's plan is to have lots of territories. I think Blue is trying to grab this. Yeah, I think Blue wants this. Yeah, they're trying to hold their Asia, and they just saw they have a plus 15 there. So we can maybe slap that four, or we could, um, I could stack some here and go see if there's an easy break there. See what they have in their cap. Um, I could come through here to break this. I could hit that four. Um, it depends. I don't, there's no world where we let them hold that bonus. That's just not going to happen. I think what we do is, I want, I, just for the sake of maybe getting vision, put some over there. We'll put uh, a few over here. Keep stacking more over here near green. And we don't card trade here. We hit this. We make sure they don't hold this bonus. We got good dice. They got 12 stack there. Okay. We broke them. Fortify that out of their territory a little bit. And there's no world where we let them hold that bonus. We have probably definitely made... Blue's going to hate us here. We have to worry about them self-destructing us. Luckily, it's capitalist mode, so that protects you against self-destructs a little bit. Not entirely. I've been trying to play pretty buddy-buddy with um, Green here. Um, maybe Green also tries to hit and break Blue. Yes! Green doesn't know that I broke Blue, so they also hit to break Blue. So Green is also the same mind as me that they don't want Blue to hold that territory. That's fantastic. Okay, that's really, really good for us, actually. I think win or lose, I'm probably gonna make a video out of this because it's just an interesting match here. I think that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Recenter, recenter my thing there. There we go, perfectly centered. If you don't know, you can recenter the map by double clicking on the screen, double clicking again. Not sure if it is a mobile, maybe like double tap, I don't know. All right, so we'll be forced to card trade here unless this bot card trades. I'd like to see these bots card trading a little bit. Keep in mind, sometimes players will like come back He's probably going to push me out of here if I could... Yeah, he's going to hit here, here, here. Push me out of this so I can't break him so easily there. If I want to break him again, I have to go through here or here. Or let green do it. Let's see if they go all the way through. Going to go all the way through? Yeah. Also, there is a possibility. Yeah, wait. They're slow rolling. Okay, they, they it's either misclick or like a very new player. So I've been completely pushed out of this part of the map. All I have left is this, this, and this. But in Capital Conquest mode, this is actually fine. Keep in mind, there's also bots. The bot elimination is going to be a thing. 
you attack up. The blue is still desperately trying to hold this. There's no world where either myself or green let them hold this. There's a chance green might just break it for me. Green tried to break it last turn. So I could actually, I mean, I don't really love the idea of you getting. Green says good game. Why? Why is green saying good game? It's a plus nine bonus. Is is green saying good game because they have the bonus? Why? Is green giving up or is green... I don't understand. I need to understand the psychology of why green just said good game. If they're giving up, does that mean they think that blue's just going to win it? I don't know. Fourth card trade here. They're not. We can easily... Clearly, we can both do things against them. Um, we will put... I can just... I can let green know that I'm trying to break them would be a thing to do. Let's put uh, a couple more here and more here. I'm not going to hit green. I want green to know that I'm breaking blue. I want green to know this. I don't want green throwing in the towel and then self-destructing on me. Blue already knows that I'm trying to break them. I need... I know that green's trying to break blue. I need green to know that I'm breaking blue. I need green to know that I'm breaking blue. That way we can kind of restore relations with green. So have I done anything to anger green? That's the question. Um, It was red's cap I took. We've been stacking both here on our capitals. Which makes sense. Please don't bot out. Please don't bot out. Okay, they're still here. Good. They card trade. They get a bigger card trade than me. And they will continue to do so. They are stacking evenly next to me. Which means they're not probably going down for this. He only got seven troops, right? They finally do that. They lose five troops. Here's the thing. Do I want to break your plus two? I mean, this gives you the same troop income as I do. Um, I've got two caps. You've got two caps, I've got plus two, you've got plus two. The bots will most likely eventually push you out of the board. I don't know that I like having this bonus, but in progress, like what round are we on? Plus three for red, no capital there, we know that. We're on round six. Round six of progressive, you getting an extra plus two per turn is not the end of the world. What matters now is just us having an alliance of sorts. Like we need to be, I need to, like right now it's all about the political game. It's a 1v1v1 situation with two bots in the mix. So the winning strategy is one, don't anger uh, blue and green too much. Uh, and also try to chain kills on bots. Um, or trying to like yoink a cap. The problem is I can't, like green is, uh oh, uh oh, what's that? Why are you doing the devil face? You did that while red was taking their turn. Maybe you don't realize that red left me became a bot. Maybe you're more new than I realized. Uh, blue card traits here, okay, and they try to grab this again. Maybe it's getting a card, maybe hoping we let them hold it. So there's no world we let you hold this plus nine bonus on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point hold. Very ambitious to try and hold that. Gotta watch out. I wish I could kill guard a bot. Well, we know where the white bot's over here. I'm worried these guys are gonna kill a bot and get a big old progressive card trade without me realizing. I really want to restore good relations with Green. Green only left three over there. They didn't try to fortify and protect that. We're doing a trust exercise. I've been giving them like the, the homie, you know, fist punchy ally thingy like several times now. Maybe they understand what that means and we can be buddies. I mean, I'm okay with you getting the same bonus. I could break this, but I'm not going to. I'd rather I'd rather just be on good, good terms with you. Let's put a few over here and we will do this over here and I will hit this for a card over here just to get a card uh, blue might know that my capitals here they might not have known me for oops oh well they probably have found out pretty soon anyways right what they can do there's 19 on there nine for green give them like the, the the hey let's be homies icon you know i let you hold your bonus the question is is green experienced enough at the game to understand that i'm being a homie letting them hold their bonus that i could easily break that's a big question do they know what the fisty punchy things means? Okay, you, because that was, so that's the stack you have on your other capital. Okay, you scope not, to, you're scoping out to see if you want to break this capital. No, you're going to break blue from behind. I think. Surely you're breaking blue. I forgot to break blue last turn. I think green's doing it. Or are you trying to grab a bonus? You trying to eliminate? I hope they broke blue. If not, blue will get a bonus. Honestly, it's just this is good information to see if green will break blue versus all on me. That's the question. I mean, Blue's been getting a little bit less on bonuses than we have for a while now. I've been attacking a bit more, so they're probably lower in troops. I guess Blue probably has like maybe 40, 45 troops, something like that. You're still, yeah, okay, you haven't come back yet. If you're on mobiles, they can leave and then come back like 10, 20, 30 minutes later in the game. We'll be like, want to rejoin the game? 
PC, I don't think you can, but on mobile you can. So it's always something to look out for, something like going to come back. Plus 10. So does that mean you held your bonus? No, because you had you've had plus nine plus your capital. No, you don't. You did not hold agent, which means they come and they came and broke you. You have plus ten because you have a lot of territories. You have a lot of ones and twos and stuff across the board, which the bots will eventually start taking out. So I think purple just came over there and broke you. So what happens? I should probably start attacking in this direction to see what's going. On. Green's capital. Um, I don't like. Ooh, blue's chasing it back. Blue's chasing it back. So green broke him this turn. Maybe I break blue again next turn for like a, a sign of like, hey, let's be a buddy. Blue's wasting a lot of troops. Actually, let them. Let blue waste all these troops. This is actually great for us. Blue might be like a, a like a beginner, maybe. Um, they're attacking so much, trying to hold bonuses. Nobody has this one. I don't think anybody has this one. I think the bots, I think the red bot and the white bot are not letting these be claimed. White won't let that be claimed. I'm concerned somebody is trying to hold North America there for plus five, I don't notice. Plus nine, it's Asia. Nine troops for us. I'm not going to card trade here. I'm going to stack, oh, uh, maybe a couple more here. I want green to know that I'm still like, hey, look at me. I'm over here breaking blue. Yeah, look at me. I'm breaking blue. I want you to see this. There we go. And then I'm going to fortify it back over here. I think I have communicated with green that we're on the same page here. I'm... I'm not breaking them. I'm breaking blue where they can visibly see it. I broke them like the first time we both broke blue. The second time I broke them, they saw me do it. The third time they went down here and broke him. This time I broke them. So if we're taking turns breaking blue, like that's great for us. And blue hopefully will be more mad at green because green came all the way down through here and hit this. But I could see them also being pretty mad at me. Ooh, they're running their troops back this way. Okay, this is like, this is perfect. This is perfect. Green and blue are attacking each other's territories a lot and wasting a lot of each other's troops. This is really, really good. Now we're getting a situation where my cap is starting to get significantly larger than your cap. And eventually we can, we can just kind of like yoink that cap. Or maybe green and blue are trying to like scout the board and they're trying to line up for the kills on red and white, which would actually be... Honestly, pretty good. I'm trying to like gauge. I think blue is probably like maybe beginner intermediate. Green, I was thinking intermediate experts, but now I see them like either they're making either they're like smarter than me and attacking across the board a bunch for like really important vision for elimination of bot kills, or they're less experienced than me and they're wasting troops doing unnecessary attacks trying to gra grab more territories for bonuses, which is silly when there's two bots roaming the board because the bots just won't kind of won't, won't let you hold that right. Do, I do wish I had more vision though. Nine troops for you, which means you did not hold this bonus because I broke you, obviously. And that means you don't have this. I don't think anybody's holding this plus five down here. That's good. I think green knows this is here. They don't, have, don't know how many I have on there. What's even counting in their head? Blue, I don't think, it, I don't, I'm not sure blue knows this cap was here. They might not have been paying attention to the white cap being there or might have seen it. I don't know. We'll seek her cap there. I need to gain some more vision on the board. Blue is tacking through here. What is blue up to? I don't understand. Are you trying to eliminate? You're just trying to hold this again. Okay. Maybe we don't break blue here. See if green does it, right? Maybe. And we attack a bot this turn? I don't know. Because I broke blue last time. I want to see green do it. I want, like, there's three players and then two bots. I want to see green and blue get more and more mad at each other. I broke blue last time. We'll give green a chance to do it. Or give the bots a chance to do it. Nine troops for us. Force card trade on five gives us plus 15. Um, 24 gives us oh, 66. That almost guaranteed takes out green there, but then we make a permanent enemy out of green. I don't think at this point a plus two bonus is worth, or a plus four is worth angering green, unless I have like a dominant lead here. I'm going to put, I don't know, like a little more here for safety, a little more over here for safety. And I'm going to take a peek into here. I don't actually, I'll be burying this cap. This cap's not going to be my cap to eliminate people with, I don't think. I just want to see what's going on here. Hit the bot a couple times. All right, so you're, where is your cap? I'd love to know where your cap is. Okay, just want to know where it's at. Just want to know where your cap's at. That's good to know. And you have 16 on it. I imagine most of your troops are here and here. Wait, you got plus 15? How'd you get plus 15? You're, you're hold, oh, they, they have North America. They're holding North America. Okay. So you get plus 15 is six more than me, plus you have like one more of having more territories. So you're holding this right here. You you held this right here, so I should have dealt with this, but now I know. I mean, I didn't break them. And you're going to show up there to defend because you don't trust. That's fine. Again, 
I'm going to give you like the, hey, let's be, you have a 43 and a 31. I've got a 56 and a 28. So I'm still ahead of you on troops a little bit, but I can't let you keep holding this plus five. Yeah. I also need you and blue to fight each other. This might actually be a bit of a long video here for the long video enjoyers. Win or loss, I think this is probably going to become a video. Yeah. Okay. So that you got, this is basically everything you have. I need to like, so if you have this, and I don't think red is in here, I think the, I think we could, if the red doesn't trade here, I think we can come down here. I think red's just down in here. 25 troop trading. Okay, never mind. We don't bother with red right now. I think red's mostly just down in here. Blue thinks mostly here. I think white's here and here. Green, oh, green got an extra six troops last turn. Not from this, not from this, not from this, not from this, because red's there. It has to be this. So... Uh, this was all green, which means no red, no white. Blue probably has all this. Plus 19, you held it. Green, let him hold it. Green, let him hold the plus 9. Okay. Good to know. And a 30 troop traded. That's not good. That's not good. Mmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's not good at all. I kind of forgot to break them, and green didn't do it either. So that's not great. Can't let you hold that plus 9. I'm surprised the bots aren't doing something about it. Like, I'm... The bots, I think the bots are coded to fight for this right here, and this right here, maybe this here. And they don't care about going for this. 49 stack, that could easily go for my 28 if they know it's here. It'll take good dice, but they could get it. Oh, no. Okay, Blue is thinking in terms of bonuses. He split the stack, left a bunch right there to defend. Why? They're fighting green for the plus five. They're fighting green for the plus five bonus. Okay. So, I need to I need to look for the bot elimination. If the bot attacked here, that'd be nice. I'll have to sack troops there. I think bots probably got like a one and one and one there. I could hear for card trade. Um, if the if the white bot doesn't eliminate, we need to try to take them. If the white bot doesn't card trade, we need to go for them. Stack some here, maybe like ten. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Hopefully that's the end of the white. And then take this to here, 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 here. That's probably all white has. I have to imagine. Nine troops for us. They did not card trade. We have to go for white. So we'll stack this right here. We will hit uh, over here. I need to make sure we kind of do some damage on white here. They might think I'm going for them. I'm not. I'm going for the bot. Oh, that's a lot of red here. I'm looking for white specifically. Okay, I'm going to do some damage to red, unfortunately. But I need this white elimination. Uh, please be the white's last territory. Thank goodness we got it right. I needed those four cards. That's huge. Risk. I, can, I, can I change the red as well? If I change the red as well, that's huge. We card trade. We well played. Thanks. Uh, I think red's just down here. We stack it all here to move them back. We go for red as well. We need the red kill. And there, it's two cards. Is, is it worth it? Um, yeah, it gives me another immediate card trade in here. We go for this, we go for this. That's the 34 stack down next to your cap. I don't know that was there. We hit this, accidentally breaking your bonus. Sorry. Oh, we just fed the red kill. Where's red hiding at? All right, well, we fed the red kill. They only have two cards, that's fine. Fortify these back over to here for safety. Um, actually blue could get three, like red. Yeah, where's, where are they at? Did, they're not in here. Are they right here? Big trade in from green, okay. Um, we fed the red kill to somebody, unfortunately. That, that's a lot for you. I've got 50, 78. You've got 80. Um, oh, the red was right there. All right, we fed them two cards. Not the end of the world. I got four cards. They got two. I spent more. They have 77, 100. They got like 146 troops or so. I've got 105, but I've got five cards. They'll end their turn with three, so... Once you factor in the cards, are kind of similar. If we're lucky, they're going to do some damage on blue, or they keep focusing on blue. They can try and grab blue's cap. Oh, it'd be huge for me if they did this. Oh, please. Oh, please. No? No? Yep. Oh, please do it. Oh, please do it. You're slow. No, no, you're going down here to grab another bonus. This is great, though. I did not break blue's plus nine, but um, we got the bots out of the picture. Simplifies things a little bit as far as like people chaining eliminations. Blue got neither of them. And, uh, wait, they only got plus 10, which means I think green broke them down here, maybe, in 45 back? 67, uh, you have 100, like, 120 or something like that? You're not that much far ahead of me. I think we're about even with green. Once I get my car trade in, pretty even there. You're trying to grab more bonus. I think there's, I think blue is still thinking in terms of bonuses. Are you scouting out mine? No, they're just busy attacking each other for territories and bonuses, which is huge for me. Green and I kind of have like an uneasy alliance of sorts going on here. This cap is trapped, so it can't attack out. You can hit that seven, right? That's not the end of the world. All right, that hurts me a bit, but 
We're still in this. I think maybe these guys do know my cap here and is leaving it trapped. I'm not taking these. But as long as green and blue keep attacking each other a bunch like this, I can go back to stacking on caps. I don't have to worry about them grabbing those uh, bot eliminations from me. Force trade on five gives us 47. I don't really want to lose this cap. I don't want to anger green. We've been great allies. I need to get a card somewhere. I can hit this for a card, actually. Let's make this a little bit healthier so they don't like cheekily grab it from me. Stack these over here. We're going to do a show to green that we're breaking their, you know, in case they had this bonus. Hey, look, I'm over here breaking their bonus. See that? I broke their plus nine. If they're paying attention, maybe. If we're lucky. All right, plus nine for green. All right. Blue does not have this or this. I like having vision. 50 troop trade is huge. Please don't put it all right there. I mean, even if you do, I've got 94. You can't take it from me. How do we progress this game? Trying to hold bonuses this late in the game on progressive, especially when the bonuses are kind of hard to hold, and these guys are clearly happy to break bonuses, is a little bit pointless. Green is okay with being a little bit lower than me. They don't fully trust. I think this is probably... Did they move all their stack off? They had more than that back, right? Maybe blue slapped them. They wanted to scout my cap, see how much I had there, see if they could yoink it. They saw 40, they changed their mind. They're coming back and breaking blue. I think at this point, their strategic move is just to sit back and let these guys keep fighting and breaking each other, lowering their troops more and more and more. As long as these two keep attacking and breaking each other constantly, I can keep just sitting here breaking this. Yeah, like there's, they're both thinking in terms of bonuses. This late in the game and progressive. So as long as I just kind of like don't anger anybody to self destruct on me, eventually I get farther and farther in the lead. I will need to like do scoping out. 11 troops for blue, okay. Green might be holding this bonus. Nobody can hold this one. Um, blue never holds this if I keep breaking them there. No, uh, I could maybe hold that if I trap. I'm not going to. Um, what I could do is I could like, for, I could scope out myself. I need to scope out unoffensively, which means scoping out by not breaking bonuses. So I could hit here, here. We know blues caps there. Hit here, 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 here. By hitting this, we see if somebody if like does get blue. Oh, now, now we know blue just went through there. So we don't need to scope because blue just showed us. He's not trying to grab this back. They've learned. I'm going to stack these over to here. I'm going to hit here. I don't mind keeping this trap, this cap trap. This is not my elimination cap. Just want to see what's going on here. And uh, we fortify this back. We know what's happening right now. But like, you know, next turn I can like slap three there, and, you know, or four or five there, hit this, hit this, and then fortify them back, right? Or all of them there, hit them here, fortify them back, whatever. Um, question is, is green going to let them hold this? Where are you attacking at? What are you up to? And Like right now, Blue and green just seem to have like a, a death match going with each other, and I'm more than happy to sit back and let them get madder and madder and madder at each other. We'll make for a longer video, but if it still made too if it still makes for too long for this, you can always fast forward. So we're attacking down here. They're pushing blue out of this bonus, which means they might be trying to grab that soon. I did not see them go through here, but they still have this here, so yeah. Um, as long as I can see this here, we know blue doesn't have that. 55 troop trading from blue. I wouldn't mind scoping out your cap at some point to see what you have. 20 there. Uh, why? Are you going to try and hit this? Are you trying to like, are you going to try and hold this? I think blue is, we did, remember we saw blue had like 30 right here on green's cap. I think blue has been posturing troops outside of green's caps for longer than we realized. We did see it here at one point where like hit, green's cap was here and blue had a bunch of troops right here. And that had probably been going on for like before we noticed it, right? So maybe blue has been stacking their troops outside of green's caps for like a long time. And green is uh, like, you know, mad about it. And like, because you know, that's an act of war stacking, like doing this, stacking uh, troops outside somebody's capital, that's an act of war. So maybe green and blue are getting more and more mad at each other. And I can kind of chill. We don't let you hold this. I can stack three here and break you right there. That's a non-problem. That's fine. Um, oh, we... I, I would like to green. I would like green to see that I do it, but I don't have a way of showing them. I don't want to hit that ten if I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't feel the need to card trade now. I feel relatively safe. I am going to stack these here, specifically attack this one. That way, if green hits this, they'll or like this, they'll see already broken there. And I don't want to anger you any more than necessary. I'll keep this at forty. Stack these over here. I will break you over here. Ta da! And then fortify this back here. Green won't know I did that unless, you know, the turnover goes around, they see it, or they, if they attack here, they'll see it. 
I think he's got like 9 here, 10 here, so green probably doesn't attack here, but... If green does not break this, when the turn order comes around, they see no, there's no plus 9, and they're paying attention to the numbers, then they'll then they'll know that blue didn't get blue didn't get their bonus and that I broke them, but they don't know that. Also, maybe they have so much vision on board they kind of figured out. No, they won't know if I hit like here or like here, right? Um, you didn't stack any over here. Did you card trade there? I wasn't paying attention. Um, so that means you stacked everything. So I think this is so. I think this was blue. I think you're mostly in here. Are you doing a bunch of attacking right now? What's happening? You are. Are you? Oh, I saw two dice down there. I think you're slow rolling. You're slow rolling. Did you, are you slow rolling Blue's cap? Are things about to happen here? You do slam that right there, lost 13 bad dice, and then we have like 9 there, unless you fortify Ford. I need to scope out what's going on here. So you broke them, not realizing that I already broke them. Okay. You fortify back, 11 troops for you. I wish I had, uh, I wish... Oh, you know what? I should have broke here. I should have broke here and here, because then Green would have hit this and seen that he broke you. Now, now, now I could have shown him, yeah. If I had broken this, knowing that you probably would have hit there, or broke here and here, that way, either way you want, you would have seen it. You would have uh, known that I broke them, because it's very important to me that Green stays on my side. Right now, I'm just... I'm Switzerland. I'm playing neutral. Alright, they take away my vision down there. I don't love losing vision down there. I liked knowing what was happening here, but I think you guys are not hitting each other a lot. I could attack... I want blue to hit this, so I can attack blue here. I'm mostly concerned with being buddies with green. I think blue is hyper fixated on green. And green is like responding to that. So if I... So as long as I don't anger either of them, we'd be right. But I think green is most likely to like be upset if I anger them. Five troop trade in gives us plus 60 is huge. Oh, what can I do with this? I could... St I don't want... I'd rather like make blue feel in danger. I think we... These are all connected too. I can fortify it back. I want vision. What's going over here? Maybe this cap is undefended? It's not. Let them think I'm just trying to hold this bonus. You know? And, um, I'm not, I'm not even going to break them. Let them let them think I'm just trying to hold this bonus. I doubt they let me, but let's just do that. Green's been seeing me stacking here all match. They won't think too much of me stacking here more, hopefully, though they might get scared by that big number, honestly. That, this 40 is also susceptible to being yoinked with a card trade, I now realize. I, um... I think blue probably does break this, but I wanted them to, like, think I was going for the territory. I did not want them to think that I was you know, going for the capital is kind of obvious. So they've got 70 right there. So, and most of Blue's troops are probably on this cap, unless Green lost theirs, but they had nine troops total, so they did not. So Blue has maybe 70, 80, 90. I think Blue has less than 100 troops on the board. So I think Blue is pretty weak. I think Blue is actually really weak. Okay, Green breaks me. They might not realize. Actually, I'm not sure if these two territories connect. Ah, they're scoping. So Green is, so Green doesn't really care about the Alliance that much. They're they're more than happy to go for my capital and points. So it is still kind of a 1v1v1. That's a big trade-in for you. You got 135. Okay. I need to get... So you keep scoping my capital, so I need to return the favor to scope yours. 145. This might be the yoink of my 40. That's not the end of the world. I could probably survive getting my, uh, my 40 yoinked. Maybe I should have... I, I think I should have defended more here. Keeping this cap safe was kind of nice. I don't like losing 40 troops right here. Oh, but they're hyper-focused on green. No, no, they are going to yoink my cap. No, they're still thinking in terms of bonuses, but they will yoink my cap. This will be too tempting. It's like 130? 100, yeah, they take that cap. That's not the end of the world. They lost 58. So they have 70 troops now, and they're going to try and defend in two caps. This is actually a good thing for us. They're, this is actually a good thing, unless green also starts ganging up on me. Um, maybe I've angered blue too much. Maybe the two of them have like cooled down and start, start, they're gonna start working against me. You fortify one away. Your cap's undefended, sir. You just left an undefended cap. I'm gonna yoink that for sure. 70 troop trading. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take that cap and now I don't have to worry about breaking your Asia because you'll never be able to hold it if I have your cap. Because you, Actually, no, you probably sent half back, right? Let's go ahead and make sure you're not holding anything over here. I'm gonna go around this way just in case I need to make sure to break your Asia. There we go. Get that out there. And there we go, undefended cap, we take this, there we go. And now I have, this gives me better vision on the board, and I can actually fortify, stop it from happening again. I'd rather you waste your troops to somebody else other than me, would be nice. Split them kind of nice and even there. 
There we go. I, I, I want th these are kind of players. They're waiting for an opportunity to yoink a cap when the caps numbers are low. So I want your guys' caps to be the ones with low troops, not mine. I'm worried you stack the all right here and try to hit this. I mean, you would probably lose. This. Yeah, like that'd be pretty bad for you to do. I mean, with good dice, maybe, but it'd take really good dice and you'd probably lose a lot of troops in the process. It'd be a death sentence for both of us. I think what the green and I are doing right now is working out pretty well. We're getting farther and farther ahead of blue. Blue no longer has a play for this bonus. I guess they now have a play for this plus six in Europe. So that's also a thing. But um, I've got an easy way to break this, break this, and break this from over here, I guess. I guess we also had that from over here. I don't, I'm not sure this swap really did anything. I guess it makes I guess it makes it so you can never have a plus nine by us forgetting to break you instead of be plus five. Um, green, I think, is trying to hold this. Wait, did, what did you, how many troops did you get? Ten. So you didn't have that this turn. Hmm, I'm worried you grab this this turn. You're defending that right there. I'd like to see what your cap is like. You're you're not shy about scoping my cap. You're fortifying 27 off cap. Hmm. I think blue. You're still. Are you a player? Or are you leaving him a bot? You're still here. You're still here. Not sure why you attack there. Are you trying to trace me back and then fortify into your cap? That's fine. I'm not worried about it. Neither of you holds this. I mean, next turn I can just hit here, fortify back. And we, we 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 put three right there to attack here to see your capital and to break this. Um, unless blue does it for me, I want to see. I, I'd love to see blue break this too. I don't have to. I've done really nothing to anger green a long time. Have you scouted them? Well, great. I don't need to scout green this turn. I don't have to worry about that unless their capital's low. Blue seems still pretty focused on green. I think they like they took my cap. They've got like seventy troops. Oh man, if we could get them out of here. I mean, limiting them is going to be kind of tricky. They're so all over the board. And they got a cap of 70. What I want to do is uh, get a third cap. Nine troops for us. Um, there's no way we'll let you hold that bonus. I would love to know what's going down here. Honestly, Green might not love me scouting, but I want to know what they have. I'm also going to not let you hold that bonus there. So we are going to scout over to here, 62. And this is going to attack over to uh, here. And only put three back in there. I'm actually going to fortify this away because I don't want green to think I'm trying to stack outside their cap. So they have a 23 here. I don't know why. Probably pinned in an accent. So you've got let's see, it's a 79 plus this 80, 100, uh, 112, 114, 170 something like that. I've got I've got the most troops. I've got more troops than both of you combined I think. Actually you might have had like 20 stack over there. But like yeah, I'm actually pretty strong right now. I'm actually pretty strong right now. They both, and green seems focused on trying to hold bonuses here. I think green might be, maybe intermediates. The fact that they're so focused on trying to hold bonuses this late into progressive, we're on round 16. Okay, they hit that, they wanted to scope out, they see I have this. Okay, green knows, knows what's going on. If we could get blue, if we could get rid of blue's cap, I mean, if I, do I sacrifice some troops to get blue's cap out of here? Do we do that? You want to, you want to scout off this as well. Yeah, so green also sees that blue's down to 71. So I'm in first, green's in second, blue's in third. Um, If I slam blue again... Okay, they ran out of time there. A little glitch there, we keep showing the arrow, even though it's blue's turn now. If, if, if I slam blue again, 80, you can easily lose, sometimes triple the troops. I could, like, yeah, like, attacking an 80 stack is not great for us. Please hit that 14. Hmm, do we keep... St I think we just keep stacking, keep breaking. Do I really want to hit your 22? I don't really want to anger... Oh, you, are you going to do it? Oh, no, no, okay. Uh, I, I feel like I could hit, like... You've got a 1, 2, 3 point hold on this. You probably have, yeah, like 27 over there. Do I hit you off cap? And anger green? I don't know if that's great. If I'm lucky, blue attacks too much and runs out of time. Get us some four to five back in time if we're really lucky. No, that's that's the that's the trap right there. Okay. So they've got they'll have 60 now. It makes it a little more viable to get them. Honestly, like blue just keeps blue keeps attacking so much. Oh, please don't four or five back in time. Please run out of time. Please run out of time. Nah, they got it. All right. Well, nine troops for us. We can't do anything this turn. We don't want to break green. Um, I think we make sure to break uh blue. I I, I kind of want vision down here. I I uh, I don't need so much of that. Uh, victory. Why does he say victory? Is he giving up? Uh, you keep attacking down to here. Make sure you don't have this. I'd love to know what green has here. Let green know I'm breaking then. Does, is green... What's happening over here? Uh, green... Okay, they did have this. 
And uh, they're saying, well played. Okay. So, blue just said victory. Green said, well played. Does that mean blue's throwing in the towel? Because they realize I've got so much more troops. They have to see 120 here and 120 here to their 60. That I'm much stronger than them. We did break blue through here and got vision that blue came down to break them. So, they don't get their bonus there. Blue and green have just been, like, going to war for a long time. I'm starting to get involved, perhaps a little bit too much. Perhaps I should be waiting more. Let them keep self-destructing. Blue just does not seem to relent on going for green. Just fine. And I don't know why you're hitting over here. Blue can't hold this bonus. I don't know, I'm not sure green realizes that this bonus and this bonus are separate. Or are the same. This and this are the same bonus. Because they have the blue outline, blue outline. I feel like they hit that trying to break them. Maybe they didn't realize. Trying to take away blue's vision from me. I don't know. 11 troops for blue. Green is holding this bonus now, so unless we see blue go through here, or card trade and hit this. That's that. The card trade, what do they do with it? 80 troops, big card trade. I think there's... Okay, blue is self-destructing on me. Blue is self-destructing me, or they're going out through this way. Self-destructing me? Okay, they're following this back. They're, they're obsessed with green. They're obs Okay, okay, good. We've played the political game fairly well. Uh, we, we have broken blue and green a couple times. Blue more than green. If, bl if blue self-destructed on me, I would not be surprised. I feel like I've done about as much damage to them as green has. But for whatever reason, I think... I mean, for me... Oh, that's a big hit. Green is mostly just on this cap now. They're pushing them out of there. I mean, maybe we could go for green? They have four cards. I won't be able to limit them this turn, though. They're getting swished down the board a lot. Honestly, after blue did that, I could just stay out of it. Green's going to retaliate. I don't need to card trade here. I could card trade for safety for 85 cards. I don't think we get pushed out this turn. I think what we do is we just... We get a card here to break blue. They don't seem to care about this. I'm only going to do the one, though. Not do too much on it. There we go. And I think green retaliates. I think it's like the fact that they just hit their... Like, they broke them again, hit their 20 seconds. When I've been breaking people, I, I break them by hitting usually their ones. There's been a couple times I've angered Blue more than that. I think Green is going to card trade here, stack on their cap, and go on a rampage, probably down through here. No, they're coming up through here. That's a big one, 53 stack. Ah, uh -huh, yep, Green's big, mad. You're, gonna, you're just scouting, you're going to slam them. Ooh, you attack over to there. Oh, you're not going for them. You go for my 128? You want to scout my 128? Ooh, Green's looking at me. They want to scout me out. Are you going to slam me? No, 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 no. Green's, okay, Green's not the self-destruct type. So they have 150... 145. Um, you're trying to take out a lot of blue's territories so you don't get the ter the troop bonus, I guess? Or make it easier to eliminate them? Yeah, like 150 plus 80 is what? Like 230, 240, maybe 250 across the board? I got 255 and a card trade. So I'm probably close to 100 troops ahead of you right now. Plus 16. Green did not break this plus 5 for them. I don't know why you're doing the cry emoji while laughing. Because we just hold the bonus. Okay, I think blue's starting to get really on tilt here. Bit of a long match here. Sorry for the people who don't like long matches, but this is the side channel. We do unedited videos here. If you want edited stuff, you go. The, you want to go to the main channel. Um, I mean, if I do this for a couple months, people are like, ah, maybe a little bit of editing if it still is made too much. I'll think about it. We'll see if it's if these are worth it. I need next time. I think we hit here in this. I'm waiting for one of these guys to go on tilt. Like I, I, I think what's probably going to happen here is blue or green eventually tilt and self destruct on each other. As long as I don't like slam somebody's cap. I would love to have vision on that cap. Like, looking, like, they're both busy trying to push each other's troops down across the board. I know you've got like 250 troops. You just card traded, right? I think you did, right? No, no, you didn't card trade. So you've got maybe like 100 troops. But if I take your cap, then you card trade. I don't think I need to card trade here. Um, I think you got maybe like 60 there. Did I push you off your cap and lose potentially? If I take out your 60, I could easily lose with bad dice, like 150, and then green's got like 100 more troops than me. I don't think we do that at all. I think we stack right here, and we make sure you don't hold these bonuses this time. And uh, put that many down there. I don't want you to hold these bonuses. Blue might start getting mad about this. I wouldn't surprise if they get mad about this. So far, they haven't seemed to care too much about me breaking these bonuses of theirs, but I'm, I think eventually they will. I think ultimately, we're, we're just going to keep cap stacking until one of these players goes on tilt and self-destructs, either on me or each other. That's realistically what you want to do. I don't want to be the one to start the slamming some cap that's got a bunch on it. I need to scope out more, though. I need I need, I need to hit this. I need to, like, breaking you is good, but I also need to, like, scout things out. So, okay, 
Neither hold that. How many troops did you get last turn? Nine. So you didn't have any bonuses. You're trying to hold this again. You're obsessed with trying to hold this plus five bonus. Acting like it's fixed when it's progressive. Thirteen for you. You didn't hold any bonuses. You just have a lot of territories. You just had a lot of territories that turn. No bonuses held. No. You might have a card trade on three. No. Fourteen right there. You're going to break him again? Mmm. Going for me now. Nope, just wanted to hit there for a little bit and hit there as well. Okay, you, you broke that and you're going for me. So you're just trying to get some more territories on the board. Alright. Hmm. It seems blue and green are self-destructing a little bit less than they were. Give me more places when we forced to break. Um, I mean, that's a plus 11 bonus night trip. So I'm worried you're starting to turn your eyes on me. Plus 5 here gives us 90. Um, what if I were to scout the board a little bit with, I mean, not all of them. Let's put... This up to like 160. Put this up to like 160. And then we scout with this over here on a unoffensive 34 stack. He didn't try to reclaim these bonuses over here. You going for this bonus now? I'd love to see what you have on this cap over here. No, you didn't have it here. You just want to. You, did, you got 112 there. Okay. And uh, I wanted to see what's going on over here. All right. I actually want to keep my stuff connected over here. Keep myself having vision on the board as well. Let them know that, hey, don't want that so much. All right, so you have 112, um, basically, plus miscellaneous stuff. I've got 355, so I have about triple what you do. You're a little bit ahead of me in the car trades here, though. Um, I just got a green. Could have done it right there, but hitting out as well. I'm worried the two of you are deciding to, like, switch onto me. If that's the case, we need to take out Blue's cap and start... To Get them out of here. Okay, no, no, you're still focused on blue. That's good. I've done a very good job this match of, like, really trying to not bother green. I think maybe once or twice I hit him, but for the most part, we're leaving green alone. For the most part, we're leaving green alone. It's working well for both of us. A little bit better for me, because they're attacking blue a little more aggressively than I am. 112. Do I just, like, take... Do I just sacrifice a card trade to slam your 112? I need to know how much green has. I need to... I, I need to... Ooh, a big old card trade from you. Now you're gonna slam me, or you're gonna if you honestly them slamming my capital at this point is a good thing for progressing the game. I need blue to stop with this. I'm gonna forever try and conquer the entire board and troops. I need you to um honestly, I need one of you guys to lose patience and either slam my capital or theirs for that defensive bonus. Now you've got 200 troops. It's gonna be hard to get you out of there with that. You're very patient. I'm worried I'm facing some like experts or masters, or grandmasters. This is why I prefer to play against newer players, beginners, intermediates, novices, especially for content, because when you play against masters, grandmasters, this is what they do. <laughs> the exact same thing. Like, the correct way to play this match is just to be the most patient and stubborn and try not to anger other pe other players. That's about it. Yeah, we got nobody here that wants to slam a cap, unfortunately. I could card trade on three here. I don't feel like I need to. You'll have 200 back on this. I think I'm going to mix it up over here, and I'm actually going to... Try and get rid of some of your stuff over here, right? There's no way you let me hold this, but uh, I'm just kind of tired of what's going on in this match here. I want some progression of some sort. I'd actually, I kind of want you to get mad and hit me at this point, if I want to have happen. So let's go ahead and get a bunch of your stuff over here. There we go. You're not going to love that. Leave a path for my capital out. Back over to there. That doesn't even give me the bonus. I just want to reduce this guy's territories, and maybe we can progress the game a little bit. You know? Ooh, that's a big stack right there. Ooh, what you can do with that? What are you going to do with that? Maybe if I start attacking a bunch of blues territories, if I push them out of here, green push them out of here, we eventually squish them down to this capital, eventually they go on tilt and send on us. Yeah, they see that over there. Okay, okay, purple. Oh yeah, green and I are we're chill. Green and I are chill. We've been getting along the whole match. We're chilling. We're vibing. We're hanging out. Now, I'm still in the lead here, unless like green self destructs me, feeds to blue. They're going around breaking bonuses. They are breaking this bonus because they don't understand that um, this is. I, I think green does not understand that this bonus connects to this one. I don't think they get that. Only seven troops for you. Because we reduce your territories down to a lot less. It's fine. So green has just shown me that they're like happy to break my territory. So I should be comfortable breaking theirs as well. Unless they're the kind of person who like 
some people like, it's okay for me to break your territories, but don't you dare break mine. You know, double standard, right? All right. Depends how chill they are. Where do we go next time? I want to just kind of push blue down. Maybe we attack blue a bunch over here. I want this path right here to attack you. I could attack here, 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 get vision on you. Total troops for us. I think that's exactly what we do. I don't think a card trade here. I don't think we're in any danger of elimination. I want vision. I want you to have over here. This does kind of give them a path towards me over here with their capital. I'm not sure freeing their capital is the play. And we see this 200 troops over there. I wanted vision on the board. Okay. Fortify this back over here. They could card trade, come with like 300 plus and hit my 150. And honestly, just anything to progress the game at this point. Um, I mean, I th I've heard that like it's it's the person who's in last place. It's their job to progress the game. So that would be blue. For them, that would be trying to yoink a cap or something. All right. Did you hold a territory? You got 13 troops. You did hold a territory, but again, that plus five at this point in the game is not that big of a deal. You seem to be focused on getting territory still, which is honestly fine, because that means if I get, if I get down to 1v1 one with you, you'll leave troops off cap for me to slam, and then when you attack me, I'll be on cap for defensive bonus. That's what you want, to hit their troops off cap, and for them to hit your troops on cap. Are you going to hit that 184? No, you, you saw blue over there. So I think blue is out of here. I think blue is here and here, maybe there. Not that that means much. They can run that 202 out there pretty soon. Plus six for you, because you have so few uh, troops on the board. There we go, give you that. I'm not sure we can get a card block going here. Freed their cap there. Maybe that's what you need to do. I need to keep freeing their cap to eventually do something. You're card trading, you're so hyper patient. It's honestly, uh, a, a nuisance for us. Force trade on five here. Is this maybe if I do little pokes that then I'll trigger them to slam into me? That's what I really want to have happen. Let's have you guys go on a journey around the world. Let's protect this cap a little bit. And let's go ahead and just kind of a. Uh, I don't mind green holding bonuses here. What I want is blue to be out of this world. I should have done this a little bit differently. It's fine. Keep uh, smooshing your stuff over here. Keep doing this. 143 over there. You hit this over here. Let's just get blue mad to the point where they want to, like... Let's just keep freeing their cap. I want them to send on somebody, even if it's me. That's how we progress this game. That's how we progress this game. Green and I bully on blue. Unfortunately, this does mean I'm giving big, uh, a, a big troop advantage to green. But I, I, I cannot let this, this... This game will never end unless I take a risk here. Because these two players are the same as me. They're just never gonna, they're never going to, they're waiting, they're, we're all doing the same thing. We're waiting for the other players to lose patience and full send. And I have to keep it entertaining for video, so I'm gonna be the one to do it first by looks of things. You've got, I've got 472, you've got 220 there. You've got 421, oh, 441. We're about even. Green and I are about even on troops here. Um, and they're still focusing on bonuses, which could easily be their own undoing. That could easily be their undoing. They take their turns kind of slow. They're not really worried about anything. They just want to get hold more and more bonuses. I might need to break their bonuses. If blue is going to sit here and card trade, I think we might need to break green's bonuses. They're getting too many troops. They're going to pull ahead of me. Um, I'm so focused and trying to progress the game while green's going to sit back and build up. Blue and green are no longer self-destruct. It's now me fighting blue. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to get them to self-destruct, but they're just not going to. They're just not going to. 14 troops for us. How do we progress the forever, never-ending game? I don't card trade here. I stack right here. And I need to get something to, ha to happen here. Blue and green are not fighting each other anymore. Which is a problem. Now blue's doing what I was doing. I cannot let you hold these bonuses. I need you... I need to break their spears until somebody actually gives up around here. And no bonuses for you. Blue is now doing the thing. Green, like, at what... All of us want to do this, like, blue and green were self-destructing, which is great for me. But they've wised up. Blue's sitting back in card trading now. And now that blue's wised up, now it's, um, now green is, um, now green's happy to sit back and let me and blue fight. So now I'm being the aggressor and we're doing it towards blue. Now that I know that green's happy to sit back and let me fight blue, I'm now, oh, you free them again. You see they have that there. How do we progress this game when everybody just wants to 
stack on caps. Do I just try to hold a do I try and hold a bonus somewhere? I mean, I could break your plus two over here. Um, I don't know. I could keep trying to slam your 24 stuff off cap, soften you up, but then blue builds up from behind. We, we gotta get blue down here. I don't think green understands the concept of us ganging up, ganging up on blue. I need one of you guys to get on tilt and do something. This is what I need. Five troops for blue. I need one of you to get on tilt and do something. Because of the defensive bonus in the capitals, I can't, like, this dude's got uh, 300 stacked on his cap. I can't do anything about that. Um, I, I could try and defend a bonus with, like, 200 troops over there, right? He just card traded, most likely. Do I card trade for 120? Or, uh, or trade in for, and stack 120 here and hope they don't hit it? They'll He could run this off cap and hit it. Um, we are going to... Uh, we're going to stack these right here. And get vision over here. Yep. That's unfortunate to what's happening right now. Guys. This is not progressing the game. Oh boy. Let me know in the future if you want me to like do a jump cut past these in the post. I don't really want to spend a lot of time editing this. I can't forth over there. I, can't, I don't really want to spend a lot of time editing for the side channel, but if we have a match like this where it goes for two hours because these guys just never want to do anything, same as me, because frankly, this is how you win risks. Sit here, be the most stubborn, the most patient. Blue to slowly claw their way back into this. Um, how do we do this? Maybe, maybe we, maybe, maybe we wait, wait until green's next card trade. And then we card trade right after and hold like 120 right here. Keep their cap stacked back, cap trapped back here. All right, let's. Are you you want to stop this? You want to stop breaking me constantly? This is this is this is never gonna end. <laughs> this is what Blue wants. We are never gonna progress this game. Nobody here knows how to progress the game, myself included. <laughs> how do we get this moving? What I need is like to start like throw a card trade in, throw one card trade into a uh, Blue over there. I don't know. I need to calm de-escalate with Green. Oh, Green is really going for us now. We ran out of time. Hmm. All right, blue card traits here. I think I, I'm not. See, now I've angered green or they're going for me. Maybe do, maybe do, I, I mean, if I stack right here, I got remember I don't hold this bonus because it's over here. I don't have an easy bonus to hold here. I mean, I could try and grab this for an extra plus four. At this point, it's not that big of a deal. At this point, it's just who runs out of patience and slams. Nine troops here. I mean, we can sit back and let blue eventually go for him. We card trade. We do this. And we, what if I need green to see that I'm hitting them over here? We ignore green for the sake of content. I handicap myself. I want them to see them hitting blue here. 452 on this cap. We are going to do this. I want to leave it here. I want to leave it here. I want green to see this. The winning play would be to sit here for the next hour and a half to win this match. That would be the winning play. Sit here for an hour and a half, be the most stubborn. But I'm trying to make a video, it's already pretty long. This might lose me the match, but we do this. We lost a lot more than they did, and then we uh, end our turn, and we wait. Now, if I'm lucky, uh, green does the same thing. They won't. They won't. They'll sit back and let me try to advance the game. I should have done this when we had like 200 troops. Um, yeah, come on, come on. Hit blue, hit blue, hit that 42 in blue. Show me the sign. You're not. You're not hitting blue. You're still focusing on me. I just slammed him with a, with a car trade. You're not helping. Okay, so green's no longer the homie. Green is just trying to conquer the board. Um, but I still need to do... I need to get blue to do something other than stack in a single cap. I need something to happen other than blue stacking on a cap. Like I've been the whole match. Because, I mean, that is the winning play. Um, I mean, if I let green get farther and farther ahead... How do I get... Like, how do I get the most stubborn players in the world to do something? I guess I'm equally stubborn, but I'm trying to make a, a video here, right? I'm just taking too long. It's an hour long. If I was like 30 minutes deep to my match, I'd just keep waiting by like an hour long. I don't put out like a two hour long video. Too long. Nine troops here. And we are going to... Oh, I want to see what blue did. So let's go on a journey through the world. Let's also break green a bunch while we're at it. I want to see what blue's up to. Actually, what are you up to, blue? Just stacking on cap. Do we, do we threaten this? Play the game, blue. Play the game. Play the game and do something. Play the game and do something. Some 
Yeah, okay, there we go. They did, they did the emote, cry emoji while laughing. Point, play the game. Do something. Play the game, do something. Don't just keep sitting there forever. Do something. Get involved. I want to anger these guys into attacking my cap. Oh, blue spamming emotes. That's fantastic. I want you guys mad. I want you attacking my cap, not the other way around, or attacking each other. Know this, you guys are getting along and not doing anything to progress the game and mostly just focusing on me. Let's not have it like this. Maybe we can advance the game this way. Maybe we can advance it this way. He's up to 373 troops. I got 433. Blue's catching up. I've got four more cards. Green has... I think Green's taking the lead from my slamming them, which makes sense. And they've been holding more bonuses. Over here, you're gonna, you gonna slam? Are you gonna slam me? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, slam me. Maybe angering both at the same time is not the play. Yeah, you're gonna slam my 216? Do it, do it, do it, do it. No, you don't. You will not advance the game. You will not advance the game. So we have one person stacking on cap, refusing to advance the game. And blue, blue will stack on this cap for the next three hours. Green will also stack on their caps and try to hold lots of bonuses for the next three hours. So maybe what we do is we also try to hold it, like it's working out for green, just because they're getting more troops per turn than anybody. If blue wants to stack back on one cap and fall farther and farther behind, what I can do is I can take advantage of the fact that I'm a little bit faster in my actions, and green, green I will do it blue, and they were doing. Just go around the board, he's get you know, tag a bunch, I'll grab all these territories, yeah, whatever. Um, I can, uh, you, you can get one and go back. Oh, you're getting involved, you want to see what's going on here. Uh, you wanted to see, you wanted to see, are you going for me? You wanted to see if this guy was a little bit weak there, huh? Alright. Uh, do I card turn four here? Can't. We go here, we hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, this, this. I want, I want to get some money. We don't want any holding on those bonuses. I just want to get as much as I can. Maybe go for here. I don't know. Get as much as I can. Looking for a clean path here, 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 here. Scoping out. He's scoping around the world. I like that Blue is getting involved, though. I like that Blue is getting involved, though. Okay, this is what I want to see. You guys doing something. I want to see. Yeah, yeah, you can try it. You can try it. Can try that? Do it, do it, do it. Progress the game. Progress the game. Progress the game. We got blue to stop sitting on our cap. Oh, don't fortify back in time. Don't fortify back in time. Don't fortify back in time. <gasps> they didn't fortify back in time. That's huge for us. That's absolutely monumental. Wish I had a card trade as well, so I could actually protect my capital. But uh, green goes after me. I'm going to give green my capital to take away blues. I'm going to give green my capital to take away blues. Hopefully they actually do it. Um, need to make sure we break everything they have. Go ahead, break all this. I could just leave 100 on each, but that's just going to get me... They'll, they'll slap the 100. If I give green this capital, they get this bonus a little bit stronger, but they'll split their troops among more locations, easier to hit later. We take away yours, and then we've progressed the game, because blue no longer has a capital to hide on. Now, we are kind of feeding uh, green the win at this point. Honestly, I will take a second place for the video. Um, come on, hit it, take that capital, baby. Take that capital. Do not let blue have it. Take that capital. And then split your troops among three locations to defend, making it easier for me to deal with you. Less caps are holding the easier is like defend. Yes. Yes, take that and defend it. No more capital for blue. No more defensive bonus for blue. Back to us versus blue. Well, it's not really. Um, now if I had a card trade last turn, probably would try to hold that and, you know, why not, right? Green still seems to be fixated on me. I think green and blue have kind of let their bygones be bygones. They're focusing on me. I should have sat back and let them fight each other a bit more. Stacked it farther ahead, frankly. But we, by going around and like pointing at them and pointing around there, we got them to get off cap. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, yeah, you're gonna slam me. Slam my 216. If I'm lucky, you lose most of those troops. Are you actually gonna not? You're actually gonna not? I mean, at this point, the long, like, you're gonna fortify? Yo, hit me. No, you're fortifying. It's not gonna do much. You fortified over to there. Wait, that's fine. I mean, yeah, slam on green. That's great. Maybe they slam on green. 137 for us. That's great. We have this. Um, green's holding these bonuses. They've had those forever. We are going to do the thing called attacking green a bunch. That's what we're going to do. And just, you know, give them less territories for, like, territorial bonuses and whatnot. Get that nine out of there. Here we go. Um, hit this. We'll hit over here and leave four. And we'll hit over here and over to here. 
We'll have this hit over here. They'll break this all later, but I don't want them getting any more bonuses than like they need to, right? I didn't see what the emote they did there, unfortunately. Fortify this onto, let's say, this cap. Sure. We don't hold this bonus, and they'll attack a bunch of this. 18 troops for them. Hopefully, uh, what's green going to do here? I'm, I'm, I'm blue fortified over this way. Maybe blue didn't... Maybe blue fortified over to like here, here. What's going on? Oh, blue's making faces. Yeah, we've we got blue off their cap. No longer the defensive bonus. The question is who they're gonna go for. Green is still uh maybe I wonder if blue slammed green's cap. No, no, no. They're they're doing this. That's fine. So they're not trying to push out blue's territories for elimination. They're just making sure to break me. They didn't even break this. Well, blue probably does, right? Only three troops for them. They card trade. I think getting blue off their cap. Maybe means almost blue grab this cap. No, they fortified. They're rolling the dice. I want to see what's happening here. Are they if, when it's when it's three? Does that mean they're slow rolling? Are they slow rolling a cap? Maybe blue is most mad at green, and they're self-striking at green. No, they fortified. I don't think they did. I need vision. Of what's going on over there? I'm not going to card trade here. Um, I'm going for vision here, and this is going to be the spot to do it. I like having vision around here. Um, blue's there. I'm not going to attack blue because they're mad at green. I want them to stay mad at green. Um, actually, I'm going to need to because I need to see, frankly, what they're doing here. They have a 345 stack there. Okay, they're stacked outside this guy's capital. All right, just want to see what's going on here. Green's been going for me relentlessly, so I don't feel bad about uh, doing this. The alliance between myself and green is basically over. Let's fortify this back over to... Well, I want to put you back over here. Well, I'll put you over there. They might not attack that if we're lucky. I want to keep that alive. That's fine. Could have had that hit there. Big trade-in for you. Stack outside my capital. You can slam me. Is this where you slam me? Progress the game? No. Okay. So, you have two, four, probably about 600. I got 569. You should be ahead on troops. 345. If I were you and I had a blue player 345 stacking outside of me, I would be slamming that. Blue seems to be posturing for green. They seem to be most mad at green. But uh, green seems hyper fixated on me. I think what we do here is we keep focusing on minimizing the number of territories that green has. I think they take their actions a little bit slower. And what we can do is minimize their bonus that way. That's how they got in the lead is holding on these territories. And they come down here, get blue out there, hit this, hit this. That's fine. We just, uh, do I card trade on four here? No, if I don't card trade on four, you trade before I do and I'll get more troops that way. We just stack our troops down and just kind of trace back like here and go through this one here to hit this and the rest here to go through this let me see what hit it yeah they hit it that's fine oh you left 130 troops off your cap buddy boy wait does that mean your cap's undefended Ooh, blew the cart trade i could ignore that 130 and go yoink a cap you didn't fortify back in time i think we cart oh, wait you just cart trade yeah we cart trade and we stack it uh here hit here here go through here yeah yeah we cart trade here try yoink a cap unless blue got it or you had something else fortify there Leave that 130 loose, get you guys making mistakes. And uh, press the right button on the keyboard there. I'm not gonna hit that 130 off stack, I could. Not going to. I'm gonna go ahead and break all your bonuses here. I don't you have any of these. Actually, I wanna attack as many territories as I can here. Um, and uh, I could be clicking faster, I'm trying to like focus. Oh, you have that, so did you leave somewhere else? Unprotected. You have 200 there. You got that there. Where is... What do you have here? You have... Really? You have that many troops? You're that far ahead of us. That's right, Cartridge, didn't you? Alright, fine. Well, then, let's make it harder for you to do your stuff. Get you all squished out of here. I want... I pay attention to that timer as well. I want you to have very few territories on the board. It's hard for you to move around. There we go. And fortify this back over to here. So you have... Oh, 360, 560, 590, 690. Like, yeah, like 690. I got 700. We're actually pretty even right now. You'll be one card ahead of me. You've got 500. So green and I are about even. Green and I are about even. Blue is behind. This is fine. Blue is extremely patient. But eventually, green and I just keep uh, we'll just keep pulling farther and farther ahead. And um, eventually, uh. Eventually, we can just start slamming blue. Realistically, to progress this game, I needed green to be a more experienced player. And when I card slam blue, then they also card slam blue. The two of us take blue out, and then we won't be one for the win. They're not experienced enough to do that. They're hyper fixated on grabbing and holding bonuses, which is forcing me to stop them. Because blue just wants to stack on one cap, because blue is probably a master or a grandmaster who wants to sit here for three hours for this video. 
This might be a very long video. Um, I don't know if hard feelings, fast forward, whatever. All right, they fortify, they try, they want to fortify back in time this time, and they don't, they mess up again. Should I hit them off stack? I don't want to hit that off stack because that just catches blue up. The last thing I want to do is catch blue up. Oh, blue, please hit them for that cap. You got 650. I know you want to take that cap. No, you, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go for a cap, baby. Go for that cap. 200, you don't want that one. You're going to scope mine? No, no, they're just going around breaking. Are you going to, if you're not a stack, if you're not attacking their 180s or 200, you're surely not going to go for my 300s, right? They're scoping the board. They just want to get involved in this, let's have lots of troops on the board situation. As long as you keep green from having a bunch, I think green might be less experienced than, oh baby, oh baby, they progressed the game. And green might not necessarily know about that. That's huge for us. Although my 320 is trapped, I don't have a card trade. I needed a card trade or my 320 to be freed, unfortunately. I pinned myself here as a problem. All right, but I do a, if I could get green to hit some of this, I'd be clearing myself a path here. Uh, that does progress the game tremendously. It hurts me a lot. Now green's massively in the lead. I don't know why they went over towards green. They came back for me. Um, um, but let's go ahead and fortify this. Over, why are you both doing this email spam? The problem is I'm trapped in my capital here. But, you're, but now, green has like 700, purple has 350. Remember, we said, like I said a little while ago, like, I'd be happy, free my cap, free my cap, free my cap. If we're, if we're unlucky, green never frees my cap. Please free my cap. You haven't been that good so far. If I have a card trade in three, I needed a card trade last turn, but I only had two cards. Now I have a card trade, but it might not have to get you. We've progressed the game. Green is now massively ahead. They freed my cap. That's fantastic. So, and you don't have a card trade. So I can, what I can do, I, we can take out blue next turn if we're lucky. Um, blue, note to self, blue's not in here. Blue is here and they got a trail around here. We need to probably go through this, make sure blue's not around here at all. Make sure, come through here, go through here, hit this. Depends what blue does next turn. And my cap hitting blue's cap takes them out. We get their two cards. Doesn't really matter. And then we can maybe beat green in 1v1. I don't know they're doing the cry emoji face. So I guess we, blue initially was gonna be mad at green. All right, that's, that's not buddy. We get it, you're, you're a sore loser. We get it, you're a sore loser. I mean, I, I'm sore loser too sometimes. Let's mute you there. No card trade for you. If you attack a bunch, it'll make it harder for me to take you. Wow, please only attack for one in a card trade and go back. Oh yeah, go down there and yeah, mess up. No. Oh, you, oh, no, you go right here. Um, okay, so what we'll want to do is come out this way and we'll want to scope around in here. Okay, you can slam me again here and speed up even more. Oh, please do. Please do slam me. That makes it all, much, all the easier to take you out. That's that's actually better because I was going to take you out next turn. This person's really mad at me, even though like I feel like they were, I feel like green was the one you're really mad at first. Let's get these out of here and we can now get to be happy with our second place and let's go ahead and... Make sure we get blue fully out of here. Make sure I have a path back. Make sure green is not holding unnecessary extra bonuses. Is blue hiding down here at all? I don't think they are. I need to get this elimination. Holy crap, that's not what I needed in my life. All right, well, I think we still get the elimination on blue. And anyway, we can you while you're off cap a little bit there. I need blue gone from this world. I need to path this properly come over here, come over here. We come down to here. We hit this, we hit this. Watch the timer, hit this. Hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Please be the last territory. Thank you. At least we get your two cards. Now we can see if we can beat green in the one we want, even though they have like 400 more troops than us. These go there. And um, do I split them in half? I think we do. Take advantage of that defensive bonus. Come on, go faster. I'm going to have to press enter before it gets to where I want it. Maybe not. There's good. And got to keep it the timer. Can I beat you in a 1v1 when you have a massive advantage? Is the question. Oof, that's a big card trade. These two are trapped. This right here, that's 386. I mean, I want you to t attack one of my territories here. That's how I will beat you, is by you slamming my caps and me beating you in the small game action. I should have, I should have like gone, like tr antagonized blue to self-destruct me early is what I should have done. I need to get fantastic, if I get great dice here, that helps out a lot, makes up for blue self-destructing on me, good dice. Good dice lose? Uh, not great dice. You only lost 24 more than I did. That's not amazing for us, per se. In fact, it's actually pretty bad. That's actually pretty bad for us. I need you to lose like 200. Um, If you get great dice here, I just lose the game. I mean, I'm happy with second place here. Great dice? Great dice 
You could, they could win right here. I'd be happy with second place. Considering blue self-destructed on us, second place is acceptable. Second place would be just fine. Oh, baby! I need a card trade in three, though. I need a card trade in three. You did not get the dice you needed. I, I can keep these trapped. You probably fortified four, 14. Card trade in three, huge for us. We take this, leave that 46 there, and we just, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm gonna leave that on my cap. And if you have an undefended cap, we take it. At the very least, we slam, slam a bunch of your bonuses. Uh, we leave that alone. And we want to break all of your stuff. I don't want to free those caps over there, though, so we don't hit anything around these guys. Leave them pinned where they're at. We keep going through all this stuff. Through here, all this. If you left a cap, that's great. You did. We hit this. We hit this. We can fortify right back to that. Um, let's actually leave. I want to fortify some more of the other one as well. Leave them about even. That'll be fine there. Hit this over to here, and then hit this, then hit this. Keep pay attention to the timer, and uh, there we go. And then we uh, fortify these back over here. And we try to beat you in the one v one, sir. We beat you. In, we try to beat you in the one v one. All right. So you probably got like five hundred over here. That one seventy eight could take a cap with a good dice. We'll get both. I feel confident I can beat you in the one v one. I feel confident I can beat you in the one v one. Um. I mean, if we beat you in 1v1 after this dude self-destructed, I mean, that's, that's insane. We should have, we should have, we should, I should have gone for them earlier. Or ignore them and let green and blue fight more, but honestly, it's a more epic video if we work together. So, yeah, slam me, slam me, no. Ooh, you're fortifying already. Already, I don't think they understand this is a bonus right here. 23 for us. We don't, we don't free these at all, ever. We don't ever take these four, keep that trapped up there. And what we do is we uh, stack right here. And we hit back like this. There we go, like this. I'm, I'm more than happy to get my 23 to your whatever. Keep you capped there. I can actually try and cap, trap that cap eventually. Fortify these over to here. I should have attacked those two out, actually, and I realize it. Oops. 14 for you, because you have this and that. So I'm actually only getting like nine more than you, but I am getting more than you. And you're eventually going to trap your caps the way they're minor trapped. See, now this is going to be trapped. And what I can do is one, once you're trapped, once you, like, you have your stuff trapped in your caps, I can try and beat you in the 1v1 out here. That's what I can try and do. And they don't seem to realize this is a bonus. They're fixated on getting... They, they still they still think this is a bonus. They still think that's a bonus. This game could be over like 45 minutes ago if Green had been such a new player, not understanding that I was trying to get the two of us to work together against Blue. So what we do is we leave this here, this here. We stack maybe here. They free my cap. I just move my cap off. Yeah, well, okay, we'll stack our cap. Cap goes here, here. Okay, they are, no, they, they are going to break. Now they do understand. Wait, are they using... Is that all they had in that cap? I mean, if they messed up and freed that cap... Do we trace that back? I'm not sure. I feel... I don't I know how much they moved off. I feel like they had like... A, uh, I feel like they had like 150 on them. There's no way they lost 150 moving around the board. So no. We will hit you off cap, though, for sure. Love that for us. We're going to hit this like so. And move the slider down to like 4 or 5 or whatever. And then we're going to go around the board. Quick as can be. Get the stuff out of here. I need you to not have all this stuff. I'm going to keep that cap trapped just in case. We don't hit these ones over there. Even though it would give me a bonus. I don't want to free their caps over there. That'd be bad. Your stuff can stay trapped on your cap. And I don't know how much is on that cap. You might have split your army and left a bunch there. So let's not give you a free path off of that. You only get 13 troops to attack through the board. You do have a card trade, though. That is something to be aware of as well. Keep myself defending the card trade. But now you can't, like, stack card trade and stack on it. You maybe you don't have a card trade for. Now you can't, like, stack in your cap and hit me. You have to move move off this. You can't hit me with as much. Because we're still behind on troops. I still think you've got, like, hundreds more troops than I do. And I still think you've hundreds. They, this, they're obsessed. They think this is a bonus. <laughs> All right. They just, like, they don't understand this is a bonus down here. They don't pay attention to this that much. I mean, they do a little bit, clearly. Yeah, attack over there. That's fine. We just stack right here. Here, here, here. Trace it back. Take our time. Just trace it all the way back. Not freeing your caps. Not freeing your caps until we've had a chance to get uh, quite a few more turns of big bonuses. Don't you hit a 2v1. Don't you hit a 2v1. Good. Keep that bonus for me. How much you get last turn? Are right, you going to fortify somewhere I can see it? If they fortify off this cap or this cap or this cap, I'll see exactly where they do it and slap it off cap. 26 first. I'm getting a bigger bonus than you. I'm not going to card trade in three here because I don't think your card trade of 175 can take out both my caps. And, uh, 
I think we, we do it from the cap and then move back. Actually, no, we do it from here and trace. We trace it back. No, no, we, we, all right, we, did, we did this wrong. Crap. We'll, we'll split. We'll split. Did this wrong. You hit over here, 100%. You hit over to here. Leave them trapped. Pathed it wrong, whatever. It's fine. We'll get them. Get them out of here. No, no these extra bonuses for you there, sir. Keep you trapped on your caps, just like I'm trapped on mine. And we'll fortify this over to this cap here. You're 175 plus your 13. I'm getting 13 more troops per turn, so in 10 turns I'll cut 130 troops. Eventually you're gonna realize this and slam a cap or something. Yeah, 180, yeah, 189. Yeah, please come and try to grab my 100 or my 105. It's fine. You should probably lose more troops than me. This is what I need. Is I need to get more troops per turn than them, for them to realize we need more troops per turn than them, for them to go on tilt, and to eventually um, start slamming my caps, and uh, that gives me an advantage. Hmm, they seem disinclined to. They still think in terms of bonuses, and this is how we'll beat them in the 1v1. This, this I mean, if, if it's a two hour long video, it's a two hour long video. You guys can let me know in the future if, like, you know, if, like, the. If somebody makes a comment saying, CG, uh, do a jump cut. It's uh, when it gets down to 1v1 or whatever, I can do a quick jump cut, like one big jump cut. We're not going to do a micro editing, but like I can do like a here's a jump cut past 30 minutes. Like we still made it in 1v1 for 30 minutes. Here's a jump cut past it. I can do that for the side channel, but I need like that to be like what most of you agree on. Okay, they're actually breaking my bonuses better this turn. Um, oh, is that a bunch of troops off your capital that I can slap? Sure is. I can take advantage of the attacker's bonus here, and as long as I, as long as you lose more than I do, this is a great play. You do. That's another 40 troop. Uh, we just, another like 40 troops we just caught up. That's fantastic for us. Your caps will still be just as defended as they ever were, so we don't want to mess with them. We leave that alone. We can make sure to not get ourselves in a situation where we free any of your stuff. No free stuff for you. Keep your stuff capped so you can only use card trades to try and take me out. There we go. We hit this, and now. We have gained, um, that probably gained us about 40 or 50 on you because there's a bonus as well. I'm getting like 13 more per turn than you. I slammed you for, you lost 40 more than I did. So that's a net gain of like, what, how much, how many did I get last turn? I got, I actually broke me a bunch, right? You got 13 and I got, or actually I only got one more than you, but I still took out 40 of yours to you taking out, um, I still, I, that was like a net gain of 40 that round. I'm just gaining by, I'm gaining on them more and more and more. Eventually, I'll need to scout out. And also, they're splitting their troops amongst three capitals. I'm splitting mine among two. And yet, I'm getting a bigger bonus. So, eventually, and they keep freeing my cap. Precious baby new player. They love going in here and breaking this. I don't know why. Why'd you try to, <laughs> you're so, they, beginner. Beginner who understands some concept of strategy, but not entirely. Oh, they're fortifying off cap, baby. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 70, huh? Oh, they're trying to hold, they're trying to protect the bonus. Their goal is to hold another bonus. They think in terms of bonuses, I will slap that off cap without a second thought, even if I lose this cap for doing it, because I don't defend it well. That's fine. We hit this. We send, uh, I don't know, uh, four. I don't want you to hold this over here. We go over here. It's going to leave this cap pretty undefended. They'll probably card trade and slap the cap, but I want them to card trade and slap caps. So I can card trade and slap it back. Get that off there. Good dice. Fantastic dice. We come over here. I guess I could use the other cap to do it. We hit all this over here. That's another net gain for us. They're starting to make mistakes against all odds. We are coming back from this. We fortify this 55 over to here. And now we're catching up even more. Yeah, that's right. What are you going to do now? Are right, you going to card trade them four? No, no. Either they don't have a card trade them four or they chose not to. There's like a 20% chance that I'm a card trade him for. Aha, uh -huh, I fortified it back in time. You can't get it. Next round, I might need to uh, fortify some troops from here to there, maybe defend it better. No, because I need to attack out and the fortify I attacked out back in, maybe, right? I guess I can leave it out there. Eh, I mean, if they take that capital back, then that's four capitals they're splitting between, right? I keep breaking their bonuses. They keep going through here. That's fine. I'm still crushing you in terms of strategy. I think they've started to realize they don't need to grab this, or they're doing a different path. I think they've started to realize they don't need to break this. And they're learning. Oh, fortifying off cap again. Ooh, but how much though? Yeah, they've realized they're losing the 1v1. There we go, it's perfect. I, ooh, they didn't free my, they didn't free my 155 smart. So what we do is, do we slap that 75? I don't think we do. Actually, 80, I mean, 72 versus 75 attackers bonus. I might not win that. There's no guarantee I win that. 
and I don't have a card trade to bolster it, so we don't. Not this time. We don't have to hit every time they fortify off of it. And honestly, if they slap my cap, I'm okay with that. And what I can do is just kind of push you back out of here again. Whoops, make sure to move that slider. And uh, do this, hit over here. And I want their 75 coming through here. They blocked themselves there. Um, they can slap some down there. I mean, they can just card trade, it doesn't matter. What I want to do is I want to fortify more over to here. I'll lose that eight down there if they decide to attack. That's less of a big deal than uh, them hitting this. Um, if, if they hit my cap, I want it to hurt. The more troops I have on that cap, the more it hurts them. And that's good. 185 troop trade in. There you go. Slap that cap. Get that cap. Yeah, yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah. Get it. Oh, really? Bad dice. Horrible, awful, dirty, no good dice. I don't think that should be a thing in this game. I don't think you should be able to attack a capital and you lose less than the capital does. That's a bad, that's bad. That's a bad design in the game. I can't believe that. So now they've caught up 30 troops, but we did beat them for like 40 and 30 before. So we're still slowly pulling back. They just got God dice that turn. If they had brought that 200 over here and hit this, they could have gotten God dice. There we go, net gain of 50. They have 30, so we, we still got a net gain of like 10 or 20 troops this round. I need a card trade though. You're gonna fortify off cap again? No, fortify those four. 15 troops, card trade on four, gives me 190. Um, I'll leave that 62 there. We trace this back. I think you left your other cap a little bit undefended. You're hoping I won't investigate, but I will. I'm going to trace all this back over to here. We're gonna hit all this. I don't care about hitting this cap here. I want to hit this though. Make sure you, make sure you try to do as many actions as possible. And we'll scope out this cap over here. 61, do we hit a 61? Ah, uh, 61, tr I could easily lose 129 troops and have like 60 left. I really want them to keep attacking me. I think we fortify back over to here again. Yeah, I can take that cap away. Is more two more troops for me to turn, two less troops for them. But I think since they're a new player, they're going to keep splitting evenly amongst their capitals. And I think we keep freeing these two capitals, and we keep getting a bigger and bigger stack up here. And we wait for them to keep making more mistakes. Is what we do. Um. And we gotta have like, we, we need to stop, uh, I can't afford them to hit my capital again and get bad dice. I need them hitting my capital, not the other way around. It might be time to come investigate these up here, see what's going on up here, you know. Force them to take more actions per turn. Uh, no card trade for us, but we can, they freed my capital so I can hit this, split here for this. Or trace this back. We can take advantage of the fact that they're a little bit slower and I can try and hold more on the board than them. They got 15 last turn. I keep getting them on the card trades. They card trade and they leave their troops out and I gain, that's where I'm really getting my advantage on. That's fine. I can also stack on this eight and fall that back. All right, 13 troops for us, no card trade. I need, some, I need to use my capital here. So we're going to do precisely that and then we'll fortify it all back. We hit over here. I think it's time we freed some of the stuff over here. Um, do that. We'll see how much we do on time. Need to keep, oh, come on, click it. We need to go. Need to start actually taking my actions quicker. Go, go, go. All the attacks, all the action, all the movement. Break their spirit. And do I, I'm not sure freeing this capital's, these capitals is a great idea, but they've started fortifying off of it. Um, I want them to not have all this stuff here. Uh, because we'll hit this and uh, remember to have time to fortify. It's a 45 over there. So yes, yeah, they don't have much over here. Yeah, 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 85, that's great. This is actually great knowledge for us. We hit this, we'll have one territory there, that's fine fortify back to my capital. Now we know what they have. It's actually that a lot less over than I realized. It's a lot closer than I realized. They have, um, before the cards or whatever, let's see, 70, so they have less than 400. 80, 120, 130 over here. Let's say 100 there, it's 230, 307. They got like 310 plus a card trade before me. I've got 303. It's actually very, very even. It's actually very, very even. It's crazy stupid even. Um, they are getting their card trades before me. But they're splitting on four capitals, which means they don't have a, one big stack to go for. Um, do I try and yoink that 45 capital and take away plus four for them next turn? Hmm. Do I need more of a lead? I don't think even like uh, this. This stack here is like do I have a card trade in three. I don't. I think another turn. We have to ch chase them back. I think my best play. They keep sometimes they don't fortify back. They're getting better about fortifying back in time. They're getting like both these players got smarter as the game went on. 14 troops for us. We're going to do this. And uh, we're going to get all this stuff back. We're going to have to split here. Unfortunately, I keep leaving all these threes everywhere. It's not great for us, but 
we can't, um, I need you to have as few stuff across the board as possible. As, uh, you struggle with the, the turn timer a little bit here. We keep going around here. Smash all this. Get this, all these out of here. All the bonuses go away for you. All the extra territories. I'm sure I even get last turn. Up. Um, I got, um, this turn. 14. We're about even, though. By giving that capital, made it about even. I've, uh, you've got... I uh, left that, forgot that there. 820, 130, 190, uh, 266 to my 289. Before that card trade, I was in the lead. Now you've got like 170 more than I do. Stack it all on that cap. Uh, with good dice. With good dice, they could they could get this. If they go straight for my capital, which they don't seem to be doing. Yeah, take the, take the scenic route. Take the scenic route. Perhaps I need to grab this capital so I can make sure that I can take away this and then break this constantly and then that takes away six per turn they're gaining on me. That could be good. I'm worried this if I'm worried they get great dice again and they beat me with that 280 stack. They don't seem to be going for it though. This is an insane match. Holy crap. Alright, we keep cooking though. Let me keep cooking. Yeah, they take their actions slower. So even if they break all my bonuses, I'm still having more... I, I'm starting my ter turns for those territories. It makes it for them having more capitals and bonuses. They're less well defended. We slowly gain. They, they're, they're better about fortifying back in time. I'll give them that. No card trade is a travesty. I cannot catch a break with card trades. So we instead will stack this over to here. We don't free this cap because there's a billion troops on there. We don't free that one. We won't get all their stuff this turn, unfortunately. Um... Make their pathing a little more awkward for them, I guess. We split over this way, I think, and put uh, six there. We hit this. Um, they didn't free my cat, so I was able to like, go crazy on uh, getting stuff like I did the last few times. We can still get rid of most of their stuff over here. Keep the bonuses equal. Get uh, the attack advantage on them when they screw things up a little bit. And with a bit of luck. Hey, lucky. And then we fortify uh, this four over to our capital. I got a card trade in five. Um, a card trade in, uh, a card in trade in three could be scary, except for they have this right there. I need to break this capital because right now they're they're getting smarter as the match goes on. They're no longer doing the thing where they um, leave troops off cat for me to slap and get a big advantage. What I need to do is I need to get this way. I break this. That's plus four gone to them and plus two to me. It's actually an extra six for me. And I break this as well. Then that's an extra eight to me, a, a net gain of eight for me which would be good for us. Not that I love attacking 45 on a cap, but right now attacking 45 on a cap is kind of my best option. You've got hundreds up here. I'm worried if I, where'd you fortify over to here. They have, a, they have love attacking over here. And they love attacking over there. We're a little bit slow. They might have animations on still, I think. It's hard to say. I'm not sure how long animations take. And yeah, go back over there. It's getting harder and harder. We're both getting sloppy about like limiting things here. It's getting harder to like push everybody out there. Still got 36 territories is a lot. They fortify back. That's 53 there. We card trade for 200 over here. Do I use my capital to do it and split back? No, we just do it right from here. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. We're progressing the game now. We take this. Oh, oh I'm not. The, you're not the only one who gets like the really good dice. There we go. I got good dice there too. And uh, we break this. We claim this. Now, you no longer have that advantage. Well, that does free that to attack that. Not that that really matters. And then we, uh, well, we sent through the camera. And then we start attacking around a little bit. Lower that just a bit more. We'll attack a bunch like I can, then fortify back. We attack quicker. Go, go, go. And slam the enter key a lot. We need to not let any of these things happen here. Keep going. The stubbornness. Watch the timer. Watch the timer. Watch the timer. We don't attack this. We keep our advantage. The, I don't think they have any chance of winning this. They've made too many mistakes. They're down to nine a turn. 205 troop trading is huge. You've got 500 right there, which is more than my 441, but I've got the capital bonus. So what do you do about that? You can slap that. They lost, oh, uh, what, 70 more than I did? So that's a that's a net gain for us as well. The fact you're going first in an attack order is a problem. So I don't think you left. How much did you leave there? I think you have like nothing there. You got 260. Uh, 310. You've got like 380. I've got like 267. Um, so you're like 110 more troops ahead of me, but I'm, I'll be I'm one card trade ahead of you. I think we, if I get a card trade in three, we can try and repeat that. No, I'll have to do it again later. But we, I need to keep doing these advantageous card trades. If you get good dice, you can end it right here. 
uh, what they need to do, they're losing the 1v1. They need to hope for God Dice on my cap here. God Dice for the win? You shouldn't, but I mean, the way things have been going, right? No, I don't think you're going to. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, they realized- that, Oh, and we got the good enough dice! I mean, realistically, not like 99% of the time, I should survive that. That's huge for us. No card trade in 3 is a problem. I'm, I'm worried you fall that up with your 76 stack, so I'm actually not going to... Your 76 stack plus your bonuses could be like a 90 stack coming in. I need to ha I need to be able to defend. I need a card trade in 3 here. Um, I don't want to attack too much, actually, because... Um, I need to be able to defend as much as possible from this. You're gonna... Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't go crazy here. Um, fortify this over to here. They have, they have no card trade, but the, the, the dice they got there, I mean, I survived, but they weren't, like, the insane dice. They could stack the 18 here and come in with this, but they don't, they're not. They don't think to. That's huge for us. Okay. That levels it out a little bit. You had, like, basically nothing left here. So you've got 120, 130 here. I've got 158. Now the board, now we're basically even. I just need to survive the next turn or two. I need a card trade in forward, and then we're... Uh, card trade, in, yeah, we got a card trade. That's huge. We're no longer in a situation where they can slam me that turn, and then, like, get a card trade before me, stack it here, and slam me again. And now they've trapped that cap. Okay, we're huge, we're huge, we're huge. This has been an insane match. Sorry it's so long. Maybe you guys like long matches. Maybe, you know, who cares if it's a two-hour long match in the side channel. Or maybe y'all hate it. I'll tell by the most by the comments and also by like the retention graph of like, oh man, like only two percent of people watch this far in the video. Maybe we do some jump cuts on the side channel future. But they would just be like really big jump cuts of like, all right, we still made it for forty five minutes. Just cut towards the last five minutes, right? We'll see. Two ten for us is huge. Where we do this at? You might be vulnerable over here. So let's just first check over here. I want to break you from having this, if at all possible, on the cheap. Fantastic. Undefended. Undefended. That's what we're looking for. You making mistakes back here. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to hit over here, actually. Don't so leave a few behind. We're going to uh, split this the other way. I wish this moved faster. Um, let's leave, like, that many behind there. And then we continue our attack over here. We're going to keep on moving as much as we can. You are getting farther and farther behind. You're incredibly stubborn. Very stubborn time-wasting player. We are not going to let you do shenanigans here. Pay attention to the timer. With my mind's eye, hit this. You over to here, like so. I don't care about freeing this. That kind of already is free, right? Sort of. Hit this. Is this undefended as well? No. And then we fortify this back over to here. And now I have 375, and you have like 120, 130, 140. You have card trade, so now you have like 350. Even after your card trade, you have less than I do. You need to get, you need to attack this and get God Dice. You did not get God Dice! <laughs> oh, baby! You lost like 90. There we go. That's what they should have been doing earlier. Um, when they had the lead, they needed to be attacked. They need... If so, if you have the lead on something by like 100 or more troops, but that person's beating you in the 1v1 as far as like clearing the board, you have to attack their cap and hope for good dice or whatever. Yeah, I got those, didn't I? All right. I like... This, this person's got to be at least an expert or higher. No, no, not necessarily. Um, I, I, I feel like as far as like how stubbornly patient they are, I feel like that should make them expert or higher. But they might just be like an intermediate who is just incredibly stubborn. Incredibly stubborn. Okay, at this point, can we cap run? Uh, not until I get cards. All right. You have 23 here. I could try and grab this back by running this through. You're 55. This cap's mostly undefended. I'm going to try and grab that back. 20 troops for us is huge. I get a card trip before you do, so I don't have to worry about that much over there. I can have this go through and split between two caps, or I can just not worry about it. Um, I mean, that plus two is not the end of the world, honestly. Hit this, keep your cap over there trapped, I guess. Why not, right? Uh, whoops, I forgot that this um, doesn't connect over there. That's fine. That's honestly a good enough turn for us there. Fortify these back over to here. I now have the god corner, the god spawn. Nine troops for you. And I will get a card trade before you do. Almost certainly not this round, but next. I push you farther, farther down. Oh, lost three there, huh? Not a great attack. Ooh, it occurred to me that you might be holding this bonus. We gotta stop that, right? Oh boy, you are in the troubles. I like the fact that you haven't given up yet is insane. Like you can't like at what point does is this player gonna realize you can't win? Like like there is something to, to be said. Here, let me, let's give them like a, a good game. And well played. Maybe if I start giving them good game, well played, they'll understand it's over and stop wasting my time. Like, you can't win at this point. I am ahead of you on troops, and I'm ahead of you oh, on card trade-in, 
and I'm objectively better than you at the game. Not that I'm some grandmaster of the game, I'm usually like high intermediate low expert, but I also play for content. That was a misclick there and a slow roll or something. Um, we could stack here, uh, no card trade. Did I pin my caps and stuff? I think I did. Doesn't matter, 24 troops. Caps are pinned, but we can just go ahead and st I don't want to free your cap really, but I do want to not let you hold these bonuses. I'm getting so many troops per turn. I guess go ahead and break you anyways there, right? Keep your keep your caps pinned, because why not, why make it easier for you to do anything, right? And hit this, and hit this. Keep your cap pinned so you can do even less. I mean, this cap's free, but... There we go. You're, done, you're getting 12 there, because you have more territories. I don't want to free your caps. Maybe I should have just freed their cap. More chance for them to make mistakes. I mean, they had a free cap anyway, so I should just free their cap, because now they're going to attack over there, right? Yeah. That's fine. Bro, the game's over. <laughs> Good game. Well played. Victory. Thumbs up. Uh, good game. Well played. Victory. But you can't win. You can't win. You cannot win. The game is over, my dude. At this point in the video, you can probably fast forward because this is just going to be slowly pushing this guy out. We'll do this video as a test, see how much editing you guys actually want on this channel. I mean, who knows? Maybe I mess up and this guy uh, outplays me or something, but I mean... At this point, he's just being stubborn for the sake of being stubborn. I guess you're an hour and 45 minutes or so into into a match. You, you want to keep it going. Maybe I can distract them with, like, a uh, good game. Distract them so they don't fortify back in time. Distract them so they don't fortify back in time. Speed it along. Good game, well played. Good game, uh, well played. Did it work? Did it work? It worked! <laughs> they didn't fortify back in time. <laughs> no card trade in four is tragic for us. They might have a card trade in three, but... Take your cap. <laughs> Take your cap. There we go. And fortify. I mean, they'll have a few bonuses from holding that. They were holding a couple bonuses here, but them losing this cap is honestly going to be a, a better situation for us, I think. Yep, there we go. I guess we could have attacked a few more territories. I didn't think about... I was attacking, I didn't think about that. Ooh, plus 24 is big for you, but we can quickly deal with that. Because now you're down a cap. You're down to two caps, which I have... I have nicely trapped, so I can break all, I can go through and break all your bonuses, so you don't have any bonuses, and, you know, trap those, it's fine. And, uh, just anything I can to get you to break your spirit. You gonna hit that? No, you're gonna keep wasting our time. You're gonna keep wasting our time! I need to do a cap run. But I can't lose undefended. Once he clears a path for these caps, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I want to close it, right? Um... You had, like, 50 over here, and, like, 50 over there? Most like half your troops are here. I think we card trade stack on this cap and um, trace it back and scope for a cap that's low on troops and also squish up your territories. Yeah, you wanted to go for it, it's fine. You are gifted at making this last forever. I will give you that. Your ability to waste everybody's life and existence is astounding. You like learned to <laughs> oh, you messed up again. Guess who's getting their stuff slapped off cap? It's you, buddy. It's you who's getting this stuff slapped off cap. And I will do it with this one. And we will go ahead and slap it off cap. Thank you. That maintain your cool. We do this. We slap this off cap. Just in case I don't get your cap's turn. It's a very real possibility if they're like really well defended. And we're going to go ahead and do some damage over here. No more holding all these bonuses for you. I don't like that at all. I won't worry about... Yeah, we'll split like that down there. Over this way. Keep, maybe I can do a cap run here if we can. I don't know. Keep checking things out. And, uh, I mean, I'll hit that cap. That's uh, 55. We'll hit that for decent dice here. There we go. Not bad dice. Can't get the last cap here and end it right now. We'll see. Um, there it is. Finally! Get wrecked! Stop wasting my life! You lost like half an hour ago! <laughs> Let's see these ranks. Show me these ranks. Also, there it is. You'll love to see it. Man, did you just waste a lot of my life. You just wasted so much of my time. They were all beginners? You're kidding me. You're kidding me that these were all beginners. Oh my goodness. All right, well, there it is. You love to see it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this. Those of you that click forward and everything. I'll mostly go off the data. Should I have done a bunch of jump cuts? Because I could have jump cut past, like, I still made it here for like 45 minutes and just jump cut past it. Um, I'd cut past interesting stuff, I'm sure. But for the sake of uh, the side channel, I'm going to do either no editing or very light editing. We're like, we, I know I still made it for half an hour. I'll go back in the video. Chop, chop. That's it. But but there it is. Love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch, too. See you next time.